Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 City Living Part 33. And in the last part, the teens um, arrived at the Winslow family cabin, and here we are. And it is now that night. It is Saturday at 3.39 in the morning. And um, the four friends of the groups, the two groups are kind of separated. Um, there's Luna, Billy... Blair and Yusuf, and then down here, Ada and Aubrey, I think her name is, I always forget that her name, I forget between Aubrey and Audrey, I never remember, like, what her name is, so, Aud Aubrey, <laughs> I should have just named her Audrey, <laughs> but Aubrey and Ada, they're drinking, shocker, and Luna has been Luna and Yusuf have kind of been flirting it up all night, and so they now have a romance bar. Shocking. And they're all kind of doing this. And I thought this would be a fun bonding experience. I don't know why. But we're just gonna let them do what they do, and then this morning, I mean, this night, things might get a bit frisky. <laughs> Bless. Blair. Bless. Um, what are you doing? Claire, you can socialize with... Um... Mason. And you, Madison, you can socialize with... Um, Drake. We can pretend that you are, like, getting reco reconnaissance on the Vanderwoodsons. Hold on, I want another picture. Bless my fave. I love Luna. She's so, she's so great. I feel like if you don't have a lot of kids in your LPs, you can just focus on, like, one or two. And I feel like with Luna, I get to focus on that, I get to do that very well because I just get to focus on Luna. Right now, Madison might have other kids. Claire might even have a kid eventually. That'd be weird, Claire having a kid. But these girls, they're tired. Um, so Billy and, um, Blair, they're tired. And Ada and Aubrey, they're tired because they're drunk, so sleep. And then you're drunk, so tired. So you can go sleep, and now it's time for the romance. So let me just walk away. Walk away. Stop. Stop. Billy, go. <laughs> Billy. Go sleep. Okay. They tried to, they were trying to see what was about to happen. Okay, so. We're gonna romance. We're gonna ask her if she's single. Of course we know she is. Um, we're gonna exchange numbers. We're gonna compliment her appearance. And I thought it'd look more casual if they were all in their sleepwear. So I thought it I thought it was cute. I thought it was cute how they were in their sleepwear. It was probably a detail no one noticed, but I thought it was cute how they it was like four in the morning and they're all just hanging out. Froga choosing. A snorts. These two Yes I've learned that Luna's single. And I changed all of the teens' phone cases. Because I feel like it's a detail that they needed. Okay. Luna, that's not your phone case. Choose. Luna, you have the purple phone case. <laughs> but okay. Aw, these two. They're so cute. I want them to kiss and... Maybe... Do a little messing around. Is that bad? Is that questionable? Where can we mess around? Um, The hot tub. We're doing it in the hot tub. Let's go. Um, we're gonna say they're drunk, though, so. Grab a drink. No. Grab a drink. What? They're sleeping. Why does everybody need to see what's happening? Just go get your drinks. What is happening? Why is everybody trying to see what's happening? What's the big deal? They're sleeping. 
drink. And so these two are going to be a bit drunk. So they're going to make a bit questionable. They're going to make a few questionable decisions. And, you know, might as well. But if you think I'm going a direction with this, I, I assure you that I'm not going a direction with this because teen pregnancy is not allowed, and we've done that before. See, um, the, uh, One Spawn a Horror Story. See One Spawn a Horror Story, and then you'll see. We've already done teen pregnancy while at a lake cabin. This is just going to be teen woohoo at a lake cabin. Eh. Picture. Bless. Adorable. They're really cute. I don't know if they're going to stay together the whole LP. I don't know if they'll break up at one point. But I like them as a... I like him to be like... He's a good... He's going to be a good boyfriend for her. He seems like a really good person. And now that you're suitably drunk. And it is... 5.30 in the morning. Instead of messing around in the bush, we're going to mess around in the hot tub because it's my favorite of the woohoo locations. In The Sims 3, my favorite woohoo location was the shower because it was quick and it was easy and it got your Sims hygiene up. But now it's the hot tub because the hot tub is actually there. And we used to not have shower woohoo. Okay, can you stop drinking? Now. Go. I'm so happy! This was like the entire point of this camping trip. This was the whole point. Hold on, and we're gonna go... This is... We're gonna give Audrey even... Aubrey. My bad. Even more reason to hate her. So she is gonna go... Teleport up here. And we're gonna pretend she was there, like... Naturally. We're gonna pretend she was naturally there. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So she has a front row seat. And I just want to cause conflict between them. Because Aubrey likes to be rude, and she doesn't like Luna solely on the fact that she's Madison's daughter, but now she gets to call Luna a hoe. Let me make sure you... Did she leave? No, do not leave. Look. Go here. Okay. We're gonna pretend this is still like 4 a.m. and that it's like still dark. Hold on. I gotta get like. Hold on. I need the plumb bulb to not be in the picture. We're gonna pr like she's kind of making a stank face up there, so we're gonna we're gonna assume that she sees everything. Look. Girl, she sees. She sees. And now we're just gonna go here. No, not you. Go here. I want her to react. Um, go here. I want you to react. Does that not bother us, Sam? That would bother me as a person if I brought my friends, quote unquote, on a camping trip and they just started having sex in the out in the open. That would bother me, and I feel like does that make me a prude? Would that bo that 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 it bothers me? Because it does. So she's gonna go inside, and she's gonna have herself a drink. <laughs> when are these when are these Sims not drinking? And we're gonna pretend that they don't know she saw them, but she did. She did in fact see them. And so they woohooed. What does it say? Messed around in a hot tub. Is there anything more alluring or to two teens than a romantic hot tub romp? Oh my god, they said romp. I would never call it a romp because I don't like, I think that's a weird word. But now she's going to go to sleep. They're not going to sleep in the same bed because they don't want anybody to know. So she's going to go sleep. And then he's going to go sleep because it's seven in the morning. And they're on like a camping trip. So, they're both gonna go to sleep. Go. Sleep. 
But yeah, they're probably going to make it official at one point on this trip. And so she's over here talking trash. And she's drunk. So we're going to tell a dramatic story. This dramatic story. Tell a dramatic story, and then we're going to mean... We're going to... How do I be rude to somebody? Um, mischief, maybe? Like, I want to be rude. I want to be rude, like, about Luna. Um, complain about leader. Complain about the team's leader, because Luna's the leader. We'll just say that it's that. So, she's over here talking trash to Ada while she's drunk. Like, I mean, seriously, Aubrey, who drinks at 7.47 in the morning? Like, isn't that a bit... Mm? Just saying. I don't like Aubrey. I don't like Aubrey. She's rude, and she's just like her mother. Yeah, bah. Sharuna's the niece. She's like in Ada's ear. So rude. And so... You're right, I don't really like what Luna Winslow is doing with it. Like, I don't... She's like, I don't like Luna. More choices. Can I not? And then Ada is going to act like an echo to Audrey... Aubrey. I hate this. I hate that I call her Aubrey. Aud... Oh my god. Complain about the leader and you're going to be... Ada's like Aubrey's echo. And she's like, don't you think? And she's like, yeah, I know. She's so awful. I mean, like, seriously, who leaves all these drinks? You. You two. And so these two, Ada's gonna go back to sleep. I want them to sleep till, like, at least nine. Because I would be sleeping till at least nine if I was on a teen camping trip to the lake or whatever. So, I'm gonna have them sleep for, like, at least till nine. Uh, Luna, go to sleep. Yusuf, go to sleep. And so, we're just gonna, like, fast forward, like, real fast. And maybe, like, we'll just... What time is it? 8.56. We're gonna fast forward until, like, one of them wakes up. And... We'll probably go to the woods today, maybe. Who's awake? Oh, nobody's awake. Oh, what's this? Oh, you became friends with Billy Jang. She's pretty cool. Oh, she's just checking up on the camping trip. You're great, Jess Mender. Jess Mender's really great. I like her as a sim. What? Claire, go to work. <laughs> These two. Claire and Madison. And so, Claire, I want you to work hard, and then Madison, you're gonna... We're using this as a lot of, like, exposition. While we're on the teen trip, Madison's gotta... We're using that time to, like, say that she's gotten all this information about, like, um, Aaron and his death and, like, people that are involved. We're saying she's using all the influence she had all the influence that she's gained and so you're gonna socialize with grim reaper because you're crazy madison <laughs> because madison's crazy let's be honest madison is a psychopath is she at this point though she might be later but i don't think she is at this point she only killed one person and technically it was a crime of passion okay so it is noon so we're gonna all wake up and we're gonna pretend we already had our food wake up Wake up. We're gonna just pretend we've gotten ready. You know, we're going out for the day. So, we are going to go. Where are we gonna go? Um, is there like a... Hold on. What can I... What can you do in Granite Falls? Because I've never actually explored Granite Falls. Usually, for like, I'll take my sims there for a honeymoon, but then I'll switch back to the other sims I'm playing, because they're more interesting. So, Granite Falls National Forest. Let's go. Ada, Yusuf, Aubrey, Billy, and Blair. We need to add more boys. 
we're gonna have to add more boys into this because like Yusuf is the only boy out of the teens we have it's only Yusuf like we're gonna have to add some boys to like make it to like realistic to where like I don't know I just feel like we need to add more boys like I feel like Aubrey would have a boyfriend I feel like Ada would have a boyfriend. I feel like they wouldn't play major roles, but they'd be there just for the fact that, like, status symbols. Okay, so what can we do in this forest? Um, is this the forest? Um, what can we do? Like, is it, like, just this lake? I wish we could swim in these lakes. What is this? Oh, is this the hermit shack or whatever? Um, pretty, I guess. What is there to do in Granite Falls? Um. Let's have. Ada is gonna go play horseshoes with. Why don't you like Billy? You're gonna play with Blair and Aubrey and Billy. We're just gonna say that. And then Yosef and Luna, they're gonna go to this pretty lake. Oh, this is beautiful. We're gonna go here so we can have the waterfall in the background. Go here and go here. I want him to ask her to be his girlfriend. She wants to get to know Yusuf. He's your he's your friend. You already know him. Make out with Luna. Okay, come on over here. You go. Blair learned that Aubrey is mean. I couldn't have guessed. Um. So you're gonna friendly romance, you're gonna Um where's make out? I don't know where make out is. So you're gonna kiss her and then you're gonna hold her hand and then you're going to ask her to be your girlfriend. And it's gonna be Oh no, change first. You're not in your camping outfit. You're in your regular outfit. Ooh, he's not in his camping outfit. That bothers me so dearly. He's wearing so much denim. Okay, so... Wait, is this his camping outfit? I don't remember. So, hold on. I want the... Get away from me, you creep! <laughs> Ew, he was! Perv! Oh, hold on. Gotta do it over here. I can't even zoom out. I just want, like, the waterfall to be in the background. And it'll be pretty. Leave me alone. Why is everybody's parents checking up on us? Aw, these two. Aw, they're so cute. Aw, precious. So, you wanted to make out with Luna. Where is make out? Hold up. The girlfriend interaction hasn't gone through. Thank you. Romance. Where's make out? Um, passionate kiss. Is that the one where they, like, do, like, the really dramatic version of the kiss? Yup. It is. I like this. It's cute. Aww. Aww. That's really weird, but it's cute. Aww. They're so cute. Picture. I just had to. So, basically, that was our goal for this part. Oh, also. Also. Um. Okay. You are gonna go in the forest, or wherever. And then you... No, go in the forest. So he's out of hearing distance. And then she is gonna teleport herself over here. And then you are gonna pretend you saw everything. And you're gonna yell at her. You're going to mean. You're going to mock her outfit. You're gonna call her a hoe. You're gonna insult her and be like, I saw you. And you're gonna argue about kindness. Be like, you are such a goody-goody. Because Luna's a good person. And Aubrey's mean. 
throw shade. We're going to be really rude. And then we're going to shove her. No, I want to shout forbidden words, and then I want to shove her. And then mean, shout forbidden words, and then we'll shove her. Mean, shove. Enjoy. And I want the pretty background. And then picture. Arab huh. Come on, Luna. Oh. Like you're such a goody goody, Luna. Like, wow. Cannot believe you're related to psychopath Madison Winslow. Like, you are so frustrating with your holier-than-thou attitude, Luna. Well, at least I'm nice, Aud Aubrey. <laughs> God, I can't even do it when I'm in the character. And Luna's like, blah, 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 Aubrey. At least I have a man. Is that all you've got? You're just gonna yawn at each other? She's like, I'm sick of you being mean to me just because you can, Aubrey. Ooh, I don't like how they do the yawn thing over and over. I love it. They're so irritated with each other. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What happened to Luna? What happened? Aggravating conversation, no win scenario. Oh, what have you not done yet? You haven't shout. Ooh, we're almost ready. Mood swing. I don't care about your mood swing. You're supposed to be. She's enraged. She is enraged. I love it. She is. Ooh, she's mad. She hates me for no good reason, and she is. Livid. Oh, you bara. Huh. <gasps> She's like, how dare you? Uh, Hold on. I want a good picture of this. I want a good picture of the the iconic shove. Okay, I'm ready. Yes. Wef. <laughs> You're not gonna shove her back, Luna? Luna, shove her back! You're not gonna fight this episode, but you're gonna fight next episode? Okay, I need this to be gone. I need you to be angry. You're angry, Luna. So you're going to mean... You're going to shove her. And then, next episode, you're gonna fight. <laughs> shove her, Luna. Shove her, Luna. So, they're real irritated. Um, literally all of her things are in the red. So, we're just gonna take one moonlit away so she doesn't die. I'm honestly afraid they're gonna die. With their very angry and Aubrey's enraged. And I really don't need a murder. Because it will look like Luna murdered her. So, we're just gonna... Um, view this. She's gonna go view this, and then Luna is gonna be really irritated. Aubrey, go away. I don't want to talk about you. I don't want to talk to you. Do that over here, Luna, so I can go get... The Grim? Did somebody die? Is that the sound I heard? Did somebody die? So we're just gonna picture. And so... So, the teen camping trip continues into its second day now. They have been here for legitimately one day. And Luna has slept with Yusuf. Luna has now dated Yusuf. Um, Ab um, Ada, Aubrey, Yusuf, and Luna have now been drunk. 
and Luna and Aubrey have now had w their first fight. And let me just read you the description for next episode. Well, not the description. What I have written down. This episode was Yuna, Luna sleeps with Yosef and Aubrey is a bitch to Luna. Next episode. It gets good then. The teen trip is over. Aubrey and Luna fight. That's what I have to do now to keep the ball rolling in my LPs. I have to do, like, plot points of the episode. And next episode, the teen trip is over, and Luna and Aubrey are going to fight. Their hatred for each other is going to come with a climax. Nobody is going to die, because we have already done that. And believe me, I debated killing somebody on this teen trip. I honestly did. I debated somebody dying. Not, like, on purpose, but, like, accidental. But, like, everybody thinks it's a murder. Say, like, um... Aubrey or whatever, say Aubrey dropped dead, everybody would think it was Luna, but it, surprise, it would actually be whoever, or maybe it would be Luna, or maybe it was an accident or whatever. But I would have tried to make that a plot point. But then I realized we have that in Once Upon a Horror Story. We've already, that's already a plot point. Like, Serenity Betancourt was murdered on their spring, ba spring break trip to the lake, and now it's like, it's a whodunit. And I didn't want that. Since we, since City Living is already kind of a whodunit with the uh, Aaron Winslow murder. Oh, by the way, speaking of that, we will find out who the Aaron Winslow murderer is in the next. We will find out in part 40, no, 35, 35, I think we're going to find out in part 35. Madison's been busy. And this LP will end. It was originally going to end at part 50, but then I decided that it's going to end at part 45 because ugh, I don't want to drag the who murdered Aaron, what is Madison going to do, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to drag that out for um 15 more episodes. Would it be 15? Yeah, it'd be 15 more episodes after part 35. It'd be 15 episodes. And so, I kind of want to do 45 and just cut it down to 10. So, these next, um, is it, would it be 11 episodes? These next, these next end, these ending episodes, parts 35 through 45, they're going to be jam-packed with exposition and story. And, hope you guys enjoy it because we are finally going to figure out after, like, almost a year of who murdered Aaron Winslow, we're going to figure out who it is. I already know who it is, because I had to plan it out. And we're going to figure out who murdered Aaron Winslow. Um, we're going to figure out who Claire's dad is. We're going to figure out all of this. And so, that's all for now. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!